Hello and welcome. I am Nicole Arrington coming to you from Helena, Montana with Big Sky Cards. I am here tonight to show you a St. Patrick's Day card with a floating uh, die. And tonight's items, main focus of items are these die sets and how versatile they truly are for you. Okay. So, hopefully I've got all my supplies here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of granny apple green and I'm going to fold it in half. This is eight and a half by five and a half. And I'm just going to fold it in half. Now. The next thing I am going to do is I am going to take the layering squares die and I am going to cut out a window um, on the die machine for my floating shamrock. So I'm just going to use a little bit of washi tape to hold that down, except that didn't look centered. Happier with that. So we'll be right back and we'll cut that up. All right, we are back. That went through the die machine, the cut and boss machine, and now I've got a square window in my card and I'm just going to peel off the washi tape and let me tell you I in this year that it's only this year that I have embraced the washi tape and I have found I have been a lot less frustrated about um, my dyes moving around on me I used to get so and so I just find the washi tape just so much, so much better. All right. So the first, the next thing I'm going to do um, is I'm going to adhere this to the outside. So I'm going to get my multi-purpose glue that's in my very small fine-tipped glue bottle, put it around, and put it on. like so. Okay, now here's here's the best part. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my shamrock. So this comes from the perennial petals die set. It's a four petal die on there and I've just got two of them cut out. Um, and I'm going to sandwich it between some gold cord. All right. Um, and to if you want it completely invisible, I would use fishing line. But I didn't go down and get any. And this is what I had. So that's what I'm going to use. Really anything can work. Um, And to make sure that it really sticks really well, I'm going to use um, the mini glue dots. And I'm just going to put that in the center and really squish that down. Okay. And I've got more up here than I need. And I'm going to cut that off down here. That's going to be more than I'm going to need. But. That way I just get it on my card correctly. Now I'm going to take my multi-purpose glue and I'm just going to put glue around the edges. Oops. Actually I want to get, well, I'm going to put that on. I'm going to put my stem on. Let's see. Alright, I like that. 
and then I will put this one on top of this. Now my stem, I used a heart die from, no, was it from the Arrange the Leaf Builder clip? I used that medium size heart die from the Many Hearts dies, and I just kind of cut out half a, I die cut half this heart, and then I just scooched it over just to give me that twist. Um, you don't have to use this set to get that. Um, the Pretty Perennials had a stem with it, I, but I wasn't A, thinking, and B, I just like to, so there is a stem here. Um, I forgot about it, <coughs> one and two. Um, the stem is thicker. I also showed in a previous video you could use the heart punches, and that might be easier to do. So on and so forth, yada yada. But yeah, the, you're not absolutely not limited to um, the items I use. They're just to give you an idea of what you can do with with everything here. All right. And I want to lay one directly off on top of the other so that they line up. And as I tell my children, just count to 10 for everything to just kind of hold in. All right. And now we've got our shamrock on our string. Pretty cool. All right. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to take again another, let's see, might take my take a pick tool, take one of those off. Okay, I'm going to use a glue dot. I'm going to place it in the middle, right right there, and I'm going to do another one in the middle down at the bottom, okay, and then I am going to stretch my twine or my cord, whatever, this gold cord, but basically my piece of string, and I'm really going to squish, squish that down. Once that is on, I'm going to come and take my scissors and snip off the extra and set it aside. Then, because I don't really want that to show, I'm going to put another window frame around it. And this comes from the square layering, or what are they called? Layering squares framelits. This is the largest scallop square. And I don't know what the inside window, where that relates, but, but as you can see, and so it gives you that floating, if you had used fishing line, you can see it gives you that nice floating shamrock. All right. But of course, you know, we're never finished. Inside, I'm going to just glue on a piece of basic white cardstock. This cardstock is four by five and a quarter. Okay, the outside I am going to put the word happy on it. right there in the middle and then inside I'm gonna have St. Patrick's Day and these I pre-cut from the word wishes dies I mean 
so great. They absolutely are fantastic. Um, they have so many holidays. And they're saving my bacon for everything. For just having so much fun with this. All right, Saint. Poke those out. And let's see, for the little eye, I thought I would use a little kind of shamrock looking thing. Um, and this is a little flower from Arrange the Wreath. I die cut a whole bunch out the other night, so we have that. And there you go. There is such a fun floating card that gets you all ready for St. Patrick's Day. Um, so, if you would like any of these materials, I would be glad to be your demonstrator. Um, my, my name is Nicole Arrington, and you can use that when you go to the online store and enter it in. In the link below is how it is spelled. If you have any questions or you want to email me, my email address is bigskycardsnicole at gmail.com. So please send me, send me any questions you have. Um, in addition to that, um, please like my video if you liked it. If you didn't, I'm going to guess you didn't get this far. And please check out my website where you can get the paper packets of cards like this and other cards to come. And thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.